thank you. I was just saying I fucked up my green screen after my last stream, and I wanted it to look nice. Uh, how was your New Year's? Happy New Year's. Alright, so I'm having a big problem right now with this game, because I love this game. I have practiced off-screen. Off-stream? I can't beat the fucking thing. I can't do it. So, we're gonna go and... We're gonna do some things. To try to, like, advance my character levels. And then we'll see if we can beat some of the Archfiends. Could have been better. Oh, that's not good, man. What happened? Just a boring night? Or was it... Was there drama? Did you murder somebody? I don't recommend killing people. Um... Oh, nice. Yeah, I actually saw you were streaming at like 1 in the morning, I think. And I couldn't watch you. I, I just had to go to sleep. I was exhausted. I was hanging out with my wife last night. And uh, we set off. My wife went to the store and got all of these fireworks. Um, like crazy fireworks. Oh, maybe it was 11. I don't know. Time kind of like flows differently. All right, that dude's dead. And he's, everybody's dead, so we're gonna kill that monster now. Um, whenever it was, it, it seemed really late. Like, I was really tired. And uh, we, we set off these fireworks, and my wife got these bottle rockets, and she got one that was like a powerhouse. Like, it was like a $50 um, firework thing that was supposed to shoot up into the air. And, uh... I mean, it looked like a professional firework. It was sweet. Like, it shot off, like, 12 to 20, like, shots in the air. And they exploded, like, right over everybody's houses. And I felt like that was a mistake. Like, that was definitely not the thing to do. Uh, in our neighborhood. But we did. It's just, the whole the whole thing was a blur. New Year's was a blur. Because we did that really early, but it gets dark at like 4 o'clock here. So, by the time midnight hit, I was just broken. And then I woke up. So I went to bed around, I think it was like 1, because I stayed up to watch the ball drop in New York. By the way... I don't know if you watched that. Did you notice how it was a giant Kia ad? That really bugged me. Like, a lot. Way more than it should have. Hey, Skyrim. Killer, smoke, Skyrim, what did you do? How was your New Year's? I, uh, I complained on Facebook about the Kia ad. That really bugged me. And then I, um... I went to bed and I got up at, like... I I have my alarm set every day to get up. And, um... You know, I usually get up for work. And last night, I, I got up, uh... I got up this morning, rather, at, like, 7 o'clock. Because it was a late day for me. And, um, that was a total mistake. I should have slept in, because I only had, like, six, five, six hours of sleep last night. And, um... Anyway, I woke up this morning and I watched the entire season three of Cobra Kai on Netflix. And Skyrim saw some IRL friends throwing a Zoom party and took turns playing songs for each other. That's kind of cool. I wish I had talent. Cause that sounds like that sounds like a really fun night. All right, we're gonna kill some things in here. Like I said, I I don't know how to beat this game, guys. I, I'm sorry. I feel. 
I feel like such a failure with this game, because I'm actually trying to beat it off-stream, too. And I just can't do it. Well, that's the thing, though. It, in this one, you can only grind so far. Like, there's a limit on it. I guess that's the key, though. We'll just grind a whole bunch. So that guy's immune. It's alright. We'll just attack. So, yeah, so the, the bosses are the one thing in this game that doesn't, they don't level. Um, all of the trash mobs that you fight, they level with you. So eventually you do hit a cap for those, and the bosses don't. Um, so yeah, I should be able to like outgrind like the main bosses. But I'm talking about the last boss. Like, when I get to the last boss, I just can't beat it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've Googled it. I've looked at every guide I can find. I watched videos. It looks like I'm doing everything right. I just can't figure it out. But we're going to fight everything in this dungeon the whole way. Last week, we couldn't beat the Sinestral, if you remember. So we'll have to come back and we'll have to go back and try to do that. So, that game, though, uh, Killer, that you're playing, that looks like a lot of fun, man. I am, uh... You know, the hentai parts aside, like, it looks it looks pretty good. Were you guys here on uh, Wednesday night when I brought out the chinchilla? Did you get to meet the chinchilla? I'm really psyched about having the, the chinchilla. Yeah, I think my wife vetoed that name. Uh, she she liked uh, she liked Kiki and Sophie. I'm okay with Kiki. I could go with Kiki. I asked if we can name it Chi Chi, you know, like chinchilla. Uh, and she said no because apparently when we have a parakeet and it's named Chi Chi. I didn't even know that. I knew we had a parakeet, I didn't know its name it was Chi Chi. Because I don't really regard the parakeets that much. Oh, Skyrim, I'll have to bring it on later. Uh, so, I did uh, a bunch of stuff on my channel yesterday. Um, I added sound effects that you can pay for with your Briac box. And uh, I added them for bits too, but there's some for Briac box. The, the channel currency. And then I, um, I actually connected with an artist about some new emotes. Uh, that's pretty good. I like that. Not bad for 2000, right? It kind of sticks around on the screen a while, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. That was really cool. Thank you for playing one. I'm glad it works. You know, I, um... There's a bunch of stuff that I see that people have and I just never add to my stream. And I don't know, it should be fun. It should be fun to, like, be on somebody's stream and, like, hanging out. So, um... I added that, and I added something else, too. Hold on, what else did I add? Go to my channel. Well, I thought I added something else. Oh yeah, you can time out other chatters now. So you, like, you could time each other out. Which I think, I think that's fun. I don't know. Maybe it's obnoxious, I don't know. We'll see. It'll probably get old really quick.
Guys, if Miss Radcore shows up, make sure to time her out so she can't chat. <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. It'll take people about five seconds to be out of my channel. Well, it's just something to do. Like, you get, I don't know, you get all these channel points and bits, and, like, there's, I, I didn't have a lot of stuff to do with it, so I think it's nice that... I think it's nice that they exist. Good reminder to drink water, thank you. I haven't been drinking enough water lately, either. I, um... You know, I, I was working out and uh, trying to get in shape and eating better. And right about Halloween, I gave up on all that. Uh, I, I don't know, it's the candy. You start eating candy, and then Thanksgiving has pies, and... Christmas has candy again, and pies, and everything. Um, so I've gained a couple pounds since, since like, October. Hey, Zephiel. Have fun with the in-laws. Thank you for stopping in. Hey, Zephiel, I added some new channel point sounds and things you can uh, play, so you should check that out. I'm going to tell everybody who comes in today about that, because I'm really excited about it. That feels being nice. I think I already sent him a message that said that. I was like, hey, I did this. Come use it. <laughs> Come check it out. Yeah, Happy New Year, man. I hope you guys have some good resolutions this year. I can't be too hard to keep a resolution this year. You know, leave the house once. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, survive the year. It's funny, if you had made that last year, it'd be like the perfect one. And you never would have known. Oh, flash arrow. Look at that. I finally learned something. That was good. We'll use that. The bow actually gets some really good weapon skills and techniques. But I don't have any of them yet, so we're gonna have to get some of those. Horn cap. Flash arrow. Oh, she's only got eight. Fuck, man. Hey, grats, killer! Uh, I one of the last things I did on my crafts for uh, 14, and this is literally like the last thing I did, uh, was to go back and to finish the level 50 to 60 quests that you get for crafting. Like through uh, Stormblood, I had never finished those, which is dumb because they're like super good. You get like abilities from them, and it's really important. Pick a class. I like that one. Zephiel has been playing WoW with me, and uh, he has a hard time picking classes to play. He'll pick one, stick with it for a day, and be like, ah, this is dumb, why do I play this? Anyway, he finally picked a class, he picked a shaman. Which is great, and I'm leveling a tank to play with him. But I have to catch up to him, because he got further than me. Zeph, you're at your, uh, your in-laws for the whole weekend? Is that right?
until Saturday. Oh, that's not too bad. Tomorrow night, then, let's play some games. Let's play uh, World of Warcraft. Is that Was that the deal with the wife? <laughs> hey, I'll hang out with your parents, but uh, I'm going to be playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm sure they're lovely people, though. I'm kind of the same way. It's, I like my in-laws. I actually do. I like my in-laws. They're really sweet people. But I just like having time in my house with my family, you know? And I don't know. It's just... Uh, kind of have to, like, kick the in-laws out after a while and do your own thing, you know? Sky Skyrim, Liz, Liz, you've been married, right? Like, you're, you're married now. Uh, do you have in-laws? I'm guessing Tree's family's all alive? I'm guessing you're married? I don't know. Are you brother and sister? I'm sorry, I know you don't live in Alabama. That was a joke. Do you get along with them, though, Skyrim? Do you get, like... Are you, like... Do you have, are you buddy-buddy with him? Do you guys hang out? Or is it like, oh man, your parents are coming over. Fuck. No, no, not you and not you and him. Uh, you and his parents. I assume you and Tree hate each other. You live together, right? I'm not asking you to call out that you hate his parents. I'm just saying, like, is it like, oh, you're coming over again? Like, is it one of those? All right, I don't need to kill literally everything in here. Oh, the, see, that's perfect. That's perfect. Because then, if they're not always around, it's not like, oh, you're you're way you're over all the time. Just gotta have that time. My family doesn't live nearby either. So we see them like once a year. It's like the perfect distance for living near your family. Like once a year visit's good. Maybe you get dinner on that once a year visit. Cersei. That would be a good... Actually, those are good names. I actually like both of those names. I mean, obviously in context, it's completely inappropriate, but they are good names. You guys know George R. R. Martin's never finishing his books, right? Like, it's just never happening. Uh, by the way, I saw um, J.K. Rowling, the British author who did Harry Potter. She put out a new book. I don't know if you guys saw that. You don't like J.K. Rowling? Mm, I don't know. I like her. I mean... She does a lot of things with Twitter to, like, alter the story to her specific social situation, but... I mean, nobody's perfect. I think she's in the majority, you know? Like, I'm a pretty open, liberal guy socially. I don't care what you do as long as it doesn't bother me. But a lot of people are that way. I think a lot of people are in the 
camp of uh, being trans is fucked up. Being uh, homosexual is fucked up, still. I know that's kind of crazy to say, though, isn't it? Like, I don't know, I never grew up with people hating on people for being gay. Like, my family is very cool about all that. Alright, I gotta, I gotta do something here, I'm gonna wipe. Do you think it's an age thing, though? Do you think it's a generational thing? No, Skyrim, see, that's... I actually really appreciate that kind of discussion. Because here's the thing. I wonder if it's a generational thing. Because people my age and younger, I think, are pretty open-minded. I think they realize that being uh, a bigot is fucked. It's just not the way to live your life. I think anybody who grew up just a little bit older than my generation is uh, bigoted because of how they grew up and were raised. I'm not saying that makes it right. I'm not saying they shouldn't change. I'm just saying that I think some of that is based on how they were raised. Like, it doesn't make it okay to be a bigot. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, Tree, but I think that's most of the world. Like, most of the world is that small town, like, hate on these groups kind of thing, you know? Killier, what do you think about that, then? I mean, like, really, it's... I, I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying that I think there's a lot of people who... Because of their place in society... J.K. Rowling's one of those... She's at a generational age where she shouldn't be talking at her ass. She does. I'm not saying that she should hate on people, but like, do you think that she thinks the way she does because of how old she is and when she grew up and how she was raised? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not in a position to tell people how to live, so I'm the wrong person to talk about this, I guess. I think that's the other issue, though. You can't. You only have like a minority of people who can actually talk about what it feels like to to be homosexual or be transsexual or or whatever. Uh, you know, I can't do that. I'm a white adult male living in the United States. I have no opinion on the matter because if I did, it would be wrong. I have no experience. I went to a a college in uh, the D.C. area. And um, when I was there, I met my first Muslim. I had never seen or met or talked to a Muslim person before moving to the D.C. area. And um, this girl, I, I became good friends with her. I really uh, enjoyed getting to know her. But I went to see The Passion of the Christ with her, which was the movie that Mel Gibson did on Jesus Christ dying on the, the cross and all that. And... Um, while we're in the theater, before the showing, this guy comes out and is like, oh, you fucking Muslim. And he starts attacking her verbally. And, uh, I didn't know how to deal with that. Like, I'm like, just, you're never going to change this old guy's opinion. Let's just go. And she wanted to have a verbal fight with this guy. And I, I don't know. I think that's the difference. Like, that's, as a, a, an adult white male, again, who has nothing going for him. Like, I am not in any way, shape, or form... Uh, ever in the population of people who are like attacked for anything. Uh, I didn't, I don't know, it just seemed like it was like there's no reason to, to combat somebody like that. I don't think he's gonna change his ways. He's he was literally like 85, 90 year old guy. I'm not saying it made what he did right, I'm just saying in a movie theater, going to watch a movie, you're not gonna change this guy's mind. I'm gonna cut these guys down pretty quick here because I'm struggling with the CC. You can enjoy someone's content and not agree with where they stand. That's a good, good perspective. I, I kind of agree though with what Tree said. I think there's a problem with separating the art from the artist. Like it's hard to support somebody who is just such a negative person. 
you know? It's really hard to do that. I still love Harry Potter, but, I mean, do you want to go support somebody like that? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, she's got a new book. So her new book is out today. I saw it at Target. Target. You know? It's definitely, uh, that's a complex issue. But I, I still think it's a, uh, a generational thing. I think there's a lot of people her age and older who just can't... They can't fathom being open-minded to somebody who's different. I just think that's the issue. And I, I told that story about the Muslim girl I knew because of that. Like, her being attacked at a theater verbally wasn't okay, but she's not going to change the mind of somebody who's 90 years old and has been thinking that way forever. She's just not going to do it. She's the other, and he's not comfortable with it, and that's not okay, but she's not going to change his mind. You know, one thing, I, I, I know we were talking about politics a little bit the other night, which I usually try not to do, but one thing I think is really going to change in the next 20 years is everything with social... Um, equality because I think a lot of people who are my age and younger are a lot more open-minded and they're gonna be more okay with people being different and that's gonna change the the balance of how things work in politics Yeah, Zeph, that's true, man. They're all going to die out. And that's kind of what I'm saying. As they, as they get older, they're not going to be around. Yes, thank you. My opinion was right. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the applause. I love that. I love the sounds. Thank you. Thank you. The uh, the fart one actually is for bits. Uh, I have two fart ones. I have the regular fart, and I have the mega fart. Now, I'm not telling anybody to pay me money using bits, but if you want to, the mega fart's the way to go. I, I really think that's the go the ex pay the extra bits, get the mega fart. Uh, I, I think, Tree, what you'll see is in the, in the minority, though. And that's really where I think things are going. There's definitely an appeal for that kind of thinking. Otherwise, Trump wouldn't have been president. Uh, Boris Johnson in the UK wouldn't have been elected. You know, there's a lot of people that still have that appeal. But I think when um, the older people start dying out, you're going to see less of that. I really do. I do have the porn hub sound, yeah. Here, wait, we can listen to one or two of these. Here, do you want to hear a song? I don't want to listen to the ones that cost bits yet, but... Here, I can redeem all these, and you guys... That's pretty... That's going to be good when I start dying. Uh, this one's kind of dumb, but I like it. <laughs> I love that. And you already played Oni-chan. Yeah, you see, the thing is, the, uh, the, the extension? The extension only lets me, uh, add, like, four or five as, uh, channel point ones. And this one's kind of expensive, because I don't like it.
I hate that one. That's why it costs so much. I couldn't help. I had to add that one, though. I just had to. I spent a lot of time looking at sounds, and those are the ones I picked. Can you pay for that yet? I'm wondering who's gonna do that first. You're months away? Yeah, 100,000's a lot. That's why the baby shark's 200,000. But you know, you get that pretty quickly. Um, on other channels, I have way more than that, so... I just figured that was a good, solid amount. Yeah, you just spent, what, 4,000? Quite a bit. Or 3,000? I think if anybody... Skyrim, you probably have the most, because you're always in here. 31k? They also added uh, polls that you can, like... you. So polls exist, or existed before... You can actually add uh, bets, too, though, so that people can bet on... Uh, like, what you're doing on stream, I guess, and then they get currency points. All right, let's give this a shot now. We gotta go back in here, I think. So we've got Undyne, we've got the Dolphin. Tree's a saver. He's hoarding those channel points. Is there a way to check just quickly by clicking on your name? I wonder. I've timed you out twice, Skyrim. <laughs> uh, that must have been an auto thing. Yeah, I can just see that you followed me since May, and you've sent 999 plus messages. That's a lot of messages to send. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> Zeph, I'm gonna be on for a couple hours, but not super late tonight. I'm not going to 10, I'm, I'm pretty pooped. All right, took care of this. Dolphin is in. Oh, and all the mages are here? All right, let's go. Yeah, thanks, Effie. I'll see you later, man. Have fun with your in-laws. You are here a lot, though, Skyrim. You're here all the time. Tree has sent... Let's see if I can tell. This is actually really cool. You can see this. Tree has sent 628 messages. Zephiel sent over 999. And Killer is at 734. You guys like chatting. That's good. Keep it up. Look at those 16-bit graphics. Sploosh. Anchors away! Now this is uh, an island boat. Do that? Do I do it from here? I guess we'll go to World's End. All right. I guess that does it. What is this? 
Oh, that just takes you right to it. Cool. All right, this is the Island of the Crab People. dragon that's trying to destroy this world, this island. And I think, I think one of these guys I can take with me, but my group is full. Let's just go with it. Go with it. His name's, uh, something. I'm just killing things to grind up, guys. Like, we're doing, we're doing stuff we have to do, but... We couldn't kill the fire guy, so we're just gonna grind on stuff as we go. I don't think I can use even Squall. I don't even think that's gonna help. Yeah, you've just gotta gotta grind up the stats here. That's unfortunate. I wonder if uh, that lightning attack she has will hit them. Thunderclap? Let's try. I don't think it's actually, it's not like a lightning elemental, so it may not. Miss. That did, yeah, that did pretty good. There's just so many monsters that appear at the same time, too, so... The AoE's good. I'm gonna have to go out and rest, though. We'll have to go outside. I love the animations of those spells. Like, I like that she's actually throwing the orbs. It's really cool. Alright, let's go back. We'll go rest, and then uh, we'll come back in here. So this island, uh, the goal of this is to get to Fornius, which is the second Sinestral. So we, we went to the fire one, couldn't beat him. The water one is just as hard. Um, we could also go to the wind one at this point and open that up, but uh, that one's even more complicated. So we'll just do this. We'll, uh, we'll try to grind through this cave and then... Uh, if we've grinded enough after this. Like, I think if Katarina's up above 400 health, we should be able to do the fire boss. Maybe 500? I don't know. Maybe I'm being overly cautious. I just don't know what I'm doing. But all my guys were dying in, like, two hits, so...
I love RPGs, but the grinding part's not so fun for me. I haven't forgotten about Okami either, by the way. I was gonna play that tonight, but I was struggling with it so much, getting so frustrated with it, that I really just want to keep playing it. I know that sounds weird, but it's, I don't... I don't want to struggle with it. Like, I want to figure out what I'm doing wrong. I, I have to beat this game, though. I have to. It's driving me nuts that I haven't beat it. survival there. That's a dumb move. That Reaper move. Receive Dead Heart? What's Dead Heart? Oh, okay. Magic Defense 12. That's pretty good magic defense. Oh, I never looked up what Nightingale does either. Killed my group. It is, yeah. They give you uh, elemental resistance gear. Um, and you absolutely have to gear out differently. So the magic defense is good. Um, for certain things, but for the most part... Physical damage is what everybody does. Uh, you can also get, uh, like, stat bonuses. Like, I have a horn cap that makes it so I can't be blinded, which is good for my melee characters. Um, and then in addition to that, they give you the ability to learn techniques that ward your character from attacks. So I have an attack that, uh, or a, a ward, that makes it so hypnosis doesn't hit my characters. Like, those are the kind of things you have to learn throughout the game. There's a ton of them, too. Like, it's there's a massive amount of immunities. Oh, let's use Tomahawk here. And you just can't equip them all, so you have to be very tactical about which ones you're going to use. Yeah, I think that's part of the problem, is I'm like, I'm reading all these guides on like, how to beat the bosses, and they talk about the techniques, they don't usually talk about the gear. You know, and the gear is a big part of the techniques, a big part of like, how you can beat the bosses. And if you don't have that part of the guide, you don't know what to do. Oh, that's cool. They've added a lot in Terraria. I haven't played since like, the first year it was out. I started it up at the last patch for like 10 minutes and I couldn't get back into it. 
Which is too bad, because Terraria's added a lot of stuff in the last few years. It's one of those games where it's way better to play with more people. If you guys ever want to play Terraria, let me know. I'll play with both of you. But I don't want to play it alone again. I mean, maybe I would just for the, like, purpose of, uh... Beating it on stream? I don't know. Hey, Hank Bud, my man. How are you doing? How was your new year? Oh, about the same. We had, a. Uh... We had some fireworks we shot up over the house in the neighborhood. And, uh... I cooked a roast today, so we had some roast and potatoes and some veggies. I watched Cobra Kai. I don't know if you guys are into Cobra Kai. I'm a big Karate Kid fan. Love Karate Kid, and Cobra Kai series is fantastic. And in the U.S. anyway, it's on Netflix. So I highly recommend checking it out. Really good, good show. But I watched the whole series today. So, Tree, you're doing hard mode stuff, or are you just doing normal stuff in Terraria? I don't know that I could do hard mode. I, I don't know. I'll do that on Diablo, but I, I suck it. I'm not... I don't feel risky enough to, like, jump in and, like, hey, I should try to play hard mode and maybe die. Really want to do that. I'm guessing that's how it works, right? Hard mode, you get one life. Matador! Alright! Cobra Kai is great. The new season's amazing, too. I will not spoil it on stream today, because it just came out today. But I will be talking about it in the future. Please go watch it. It's so good. I love the new season. Came out at 3 a.m. Eastern. I looked at the subreddit after I finished the series, because I was like, hey, man, I wonder, like... Uh, attempt to counter. I gotta counter everything. I wonder what other people thought of it. And, um... I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I waited to go, because there were so many spoilers in the subreddit. You know, everybody's talking about it. Look at that piranha. Look at his teeth. He's not a friendly guy. Bitch, just taking my life points. Yeah, true. I might take you up for it. I, I like Terraria. I'd, I'd like to play that sometime. I'm guessing you guys get on Discord and play? There are so many multiplayer games that I want to play with people, and I'd like to play them on stream, and I don't. I just don't. It's I don't know. It's weird to, like, sit in Discord talking to people while I'm streaming. I've done that once or twice with Zephiel, and I just feel strange about that. I'd love to play those games, but I just can't do it while I'm streaming. Another one I had fun playing multiplayer that I haven't played on stream yet is uh, Divinity. Original, is it Original Sin? Is it one or two? Anyway, I love that game. That was game. That was a great game. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with those, and I played with I played with friends, so it was like it was way more fun. That's the thing, multiplayer games are great to play. They're terrible to stream. 
Uh, you know, if you have to talk to people. Like, there has to be some communication back and forth. Like, ESO works if you're not talking to people constantly. WoW worked. I just don't think I could do... Like, Killier for you, you raiding is awesome. Because I get to watch you raid and I don't have to resub. But I'm just saying, like, most games, I couldn't... Like, Din of Divinity, you couldn't get into and play, I don't think, on stream. It'd be tough to do that with people. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm thinking wrong about it. Alright, these big fish guys have a lot of health. Did you? Oh man, congrats. That's a big win. Oh, well, that's okay that it was off stream. At least you guys did it. So, are you just uh, farming up for the rest of the patch now? Is that that's the deal, right? Like you guys beat the content. What else is there to do now? Oh, there's two more. Okay. Hey, Beck. Beck, we were just talking about Final Fantasy fourteen. Killier is rating the hardest content in the game right now. Um, this is Romancing Saga 3. This is a JRPG, a Japanese RPG. And uh, it's a bit old. This is a Super Nintendo game. I don't know what year it came out, but it was re-released on Steam last year. And I have not been able to beat it. So that's what we're playing right now. I need to get her more magic. She is useless here. Sidewinder, alright. I'm learning some good stuff with uh, my bow now. Those bow abilities get really useful later. I've died so many times on this one, I've lost count. I have no idea how many times I've died on this one. Normally I keep track, but with this one it was like, I gave up after like 15. I just stopped counting. I didn't think I was going to beat it. I still don't think I'm going to beat it. I'm not convinced that I'm going to beat this game. Alright, so... There's like three more maps running through this cave. And I'm trying to learn abilities as we go, so it's going to take a little bit of extra time. Sidewinder is really good to have, though. Let's go. I'm going to use Beast Chaser. We'll try to learn that one. There we go. Matador is an awesome ability to have. I don't have a problem playing this every single stream until I beat it. I really don't, but I'm definitely not going to beat it quickly or easily. It's not a, it's not a quick one. It can be a quick one. It's not going to be a quick one. Ah, oh, she counter twice. That counter is amazing. That might be the key to beating the boss. All right, I acquired it too, so that's all the better. That one ability might change the game for us here. Right, let's start leveling her magic now. I don't know. I guess it depends on your perspective about what's an easy game, though, Tree. Like, uh, Dark Souls and Sekiro, I, I don't find them challenging games anymore. You know, they were hard the first time through, but I think they're pretty easy. Most people wouldn't say that, though. Anybody who's played Sekiro knows it's a challenging game, but now that I beat it and I know how to play it, it's no big deal. This is still a challenge, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. 
Yeah, the old 16-bit games and the, all the uh, Nintendo and Super Nintendo games, they were just made differently, you know? They were made to, like, keep you figuring things out and trying new things. I remember there was a Nintendo game I used to play. Um, everybody's seen the Nightmare on Elm Street movies? I hope. I think. I don't know. But there was a Nightmare on Elm Street Nintendo game. It was, uh, you could pick a Dream Warrior from, like, uh, Nightmare 3. And you could go play as a Dream Warrior against Freddy Krueger. So they had, like, a ninja, they had a sorcerer. It was a really cool game for Nintendo. Never beat it. It was hard as shit. Such a hard game. I love that game. But that's the kind of challenge, like, I don't know. I don't think a lot of games have that challenge anymore. I think that's far and away one of the more challenging ones, but... I kind of... Sometimes I get a hankering to go back and play uh, some of those older Nintendo games that I used to play. Solstice. That sounds familiar, but I don't know that I've ever played it. There's a few Nintendo games that I still think about, and I'm like, oh man, that game was so good. Like, um, I talked about this on stream a couple of streams ago, but um, there's Little Nemo in the Dream World. That was a fun game. That was hard as hell. Um, Freddy Krueger one. You know, there's games like that that I just, I remember very fondly, but they were incredibly challenging. You know? It does kind of make, uh, see you guys, have fun talking to folks. It does kind of make some of these games, like, uh, that are newer, they're just not, they don't have that same challenge, because you can save. Beck, thank you for the subscription. Thank you. I appreciate that. With Prime! With the Prime, that, I appreciate that. You could have used that on anybody, and I appreciate you choosing me. Oh, yeah, Skyrim, I got new alerts, too. Do you like that? That was pretty good, right? <laughs> uh, I'm psyched. I got new sounds to play. Here, I already showed some of these guys, but I'm going to show them again. Uh, so I have sounds with bits now, but I also have sounds with channel points. Yeah, there's one. Killier got that one. I like the Oni Town one. Uh, I like this one. I'm going to play him for everybody. When I do something good, you guys can play that one. You'll never play that one. Same with this one. Uh, this one's fun. Yeah, it kind of cues it up, too, I guess. We play it. And then lastly, uh, this one costs the most because I'm not a huge fan of this one. Keeps going and going too. To give you an idea of like how little I like that, even though I put it in my channel, it costs twice as much as ending my stream. If you want to end my stream, it's a hundred thousand channel points. That costs two hundred thousand. That's how little I like that. But I still have it, so um, what do I know? All right, these fish people are kind of hard. They take a lot of damage. There we go. Yeah, save them up. Save them up. We'll play the shark. Sh baby shark song. Alright. I'm kind of in between with this chick. Because she's good at magic. She's good with the bow. She's okay with both. I don't know what to level first with her. She absolutely needs both, though. Can have both. I, uh, I hired an artist to do some more emotes for me, too. Some new emotes. 
We'll see how they turn out. I'm waiting to see. I've got the initial uh, designs approved, so she just has to finish making it. I, you know, I see all these beautiful like channels with like great emotes. Like, who do you, who are you finding to do this? You know, and I went and looked for it. It's not actually that hard to find somebody. You can find somebody to, to make um, emotes for you pretty easily. Just like it's knowing that you like it, you know. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Did you make it yourself, or did you hire somebody to do it? Yeah, and Killer's got great ones. I like all of yours. I think, Killer, you know what I like about your channel too? Is it's very themed around your, uh, your dragon. Which is cool. I didn't even know there was a bearded emote. <laughs> So what's gonna happen when it's like warm outside? You know, I've only watched your stream when it's been cooling down, Hank. But uh, when it starts to get warm, are you gonna like? Oh, the whaling cat. By the way, I bought this immediately after your stream. I love this hat. I've, I've only worn it on stream one other time, but uh, I really dig it. It's cool. It's probably my best purchase of the year. All right, I'm gonna take it off because I can't actually. The headset's not the size I have the hat on. All right, we killed all those fish. Let's go on. There's more fish. I am shocked. What's this thing? Root of life. Right. Yeah, you know, it's, um, I wear a bunch of hats. I have like six stacked up over here on my desk. Um, and especially like, early summer, late spring, early summer this year when COVID hit, I was wearing a, a baseball cap everywhere because my hair was getting so long. Uh, now I don't wear it as much, I, now that I can go back to the, the barber. I have a feeling my, my hair salon person will hate me calling her a barber. I go to Supercuts. It's a cheap haircut. But I think the stylist there actually thinks she's a stylist and not just a barber. I've never seen any woman in there. Like, there's no women going in to get styled at Supercuts, you know what I mean? It's always like 40 plus year old dudes and me. And occasionally you might see some kids, you know, but they're, it's never the girls. It's always just the like, we want our hair cut for $15. And you go to Supercuts. And you get the average stylist who can like, Cut your hair shorter. She's fine. I, I like who cuts my hair. I don't know why I'm talking about this. But the point is... Um, I was wearing a lot of baseball caps, and now I'm not. Hmm. Pummel of Wisdom. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. This boss, this isn't a boss, this is just a random mob that's here. I think. I'm starting to think this is actually like a little boss here. Look at that counter though, that's, that's the move. That's the ticket right there.
heals for a shit ton though. All right, let's use more of that. Would I? Yeah, I would. Absolutely, I would. On my stream, I'd advertise for you on my stream wearing your hat. Um, I actually made a um. Oh, rock splitter. Nice. Let me move. I actually made a mug. Um, I have a merchandise button below my screen, or I should, in my channel. Uh, you can take a look at it, but it's got my face on the mug. Uh, but yeah, no, I'd absolutely like to do that. I think that's, that's really cool. I think merchandise is like a natural next step, too, like once you start streaming. Oh, can I not counter the fire move? I guess I can. I think this is a mini boss. I don't know that I was supposed to fight this guy. A Briac t shirt? Alright. <laughs> I love that. I'll tell you what, when I get the new emotes, I'll get you a cool shirt. Let me uh let me see what they put together. I think that's great. I have a bunch of, uh... I, I talked about this on Wednesday. I actually ran for office uh, back in the day. Uh, didn't win. But I uh, I ran for office, and I have all of these t-shirts with, like, my my running for office logos and, like, all my uh, marketing gear. Uh, and my kids are... They didn't... They were too young. They don't remember me doing it. Uh, but I've got, like, a, a magnet, like a bumper magnet, the car magnet, that's on my freezer downstairs. And one of my kids asked me about it the other day. I was like, oh, yeah, man, we, uh, I, I did this, like, years ago. Uh, let's try this again. I don't actually know if I can beat this boss. See, why is that doing zero damage now? I feel like that should do more. All of my stuff's doing zero damage. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but... I, I don't know. I, I just have a problem with... Uh, if you have a problem with the way things are done, you should want to be part of the system and change it. And, uh, and so I ran. But I didn't win, so here I am on stream. But I do have a bunch of like old marketing stuff from when I did that. It's all sitting around. Can I... Deal damage with solar rays. Very effective. Against undead. Alright, this guy's not undead. Deal damage and lower speed of the enemy. I just want to change the... Right, we gotta... We gotta flee. That... Okay, that is definitely a mini-boss. I'm fairly certain we can beat it. I am. I'm fairly certain we can beat it. Uh, 
I just want to try... I gotta try that again. We gotta do something different there. So, we need to change... I don't know if we can change the environment. Oh, this is a different one! What the fuck? Alright. We'll just use this as an opportunity to learn some skills, maybe, then. That's going to be a problem. Yes. All right, well, this one's not recuperating its health, so maybe we can beat it. counter moves working, and he's not healing himself up this time. Alright, well, let's keep going. We'll see if we can knock this guy out. The dragon I had before was definitely harder because he was recuperating health. I don't think I can counter that move. She's paralyzed. I don't know if, like, countering is worth it. I feel like it is. There we go. Alright, I don't even know if that was a mini-boss, but it was hard. Must have been the mini-boss. Spike shield. Alright, so what, what the fuck was the point of this? It even comes back to health. Why did I come in this cave? Wow. There's a different... There's a different dragon. I don't know if I can beat this dragon.
Well, shit, man. Two abilities and I'm dead? And it heals itself? Oh, this is bullshit. Alright, let's change this to... He's only hitting those three, though. Well, they're gonna die. It's just... He's just... It's not gonna work. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Do I just have to kill the dragon? Is that, like, a mandatory next step? GG! Thank you, Zephyl. <laughs> that is honestly great, though, right? I love those sounds. But it's bullshit, like, I, I mean, the guy just, like, one-shot my group, so I'm clearly doing something wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, maybe that's I didn't Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say out loud the first thought that came to my head and then I'm gonna let you guys sit on this. I didn't offer to lick its ass. That's exactly what it was. Just not enough romance. Romance is dead. Thank you. Thank you. I hope to God you're not watching me with your kids around again. I felt so bad the next day after you wa let them watch South Park with you. I know that part wasn't inappropriate, so it's not like... I want everybody to know that. Zephyr's feels just not letting his kids watch South Park. They just overheard a part where I was uh, farting with Randy Marsh a lot. That part was great, though. Aren't the sounds great, though? That's so much fun. I love having that on the channel now. Alright, so I, I legit don't know where to go here. I think I actually have to beat that dragon. Let's go back to... So I did get some coordinates. Maybe I can go back to Vanguard and change the coordinates. Kia! Kia! If I could find it, I would. I actually looked for South Park sounds for like three hours. I wish I was joking about that too. I spent more time looking for South Park sounds to put on here than anything else. Couldn't find them. There's a whole bunch of soundboards, but most of them are from, like, the first three or four seasons. Alright, that covers that. Let's see. Oh, okay, I can go to the Undersea Palace. Alright, let's do that. We'll get some of the loot, and then, um... We'll leave. Actually, mm, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in, and then we're gonna leave. Cause I think I can do the fire boss now. Uh, okay, that's how do I get to the undersea palace? Not through that guy. Down, maybe up.
Okay, I'm a little lost here because I know I went to the Undersea Palace. But I don't know how to get to it. Oh no, maybe I didn't? Submarine mode, alright, there we go. gonna go deeper. Nice. All right. All right. So we've we've identified where that is. I don't know if it's gonna show up on my map or if I always have to come here. I guess I just have to go to Vanguard for that. Because I don't see it on the map. Alright, that's alright. Let's try the Fire Palace one more time. That was the Fire Palace. Alright, we found the Water Palace. We've leveled up a bit. Maybe we can do this. And you know what? If we can't, we'll just go through the Water Palace. And we'll level up more. It's okay. I'm not trying to overly grind. But if we have to grind more, we'll grind more. I'm cool with that. I don't really care what you guys say. We're, we're gonna do what we gotta do, you know? We're gonna do what we gotta do to beat this, this game. couple of bosses in here, we or like mini fights, we have to fight. This is one of them. I'm trying to conserve my uh, SP and MP a little bit though. I mean, maybe I don't have to do that. I'm one of those people who likes to save items until the end of the game when I don't need them anymore. This game so far is not any different. counter move is really good. All right, we're almost to the end here. It's actually a pretty quick place to run through when you're not exploring. Alright, let's give it another shot. 
I like the music for this fight, too. They do call it a Sinestro. Sinestro. Tornado Blade. That hit everybody. Oh, god damn. Oh, god damn, he already killed somebody. Uh, so range attacks work on him pretty well. So he's spamming that AoE. I don't know how much health he has. Let's just say he has like 10,000 health. Like, I have no idea. But if he's just gonna spam AoE the whole time, I can't do much to counter, because Matador is a single target counter spell. That's a ton, too. Oh, no. Shit. That's right, that's what was killing me before, is insanity. Because she was confused. Let's use Thunderclap. She's fucking casting spells on my party because she's confused. God damn it. And there might be an item. I don't have it if, if there is. I have no idea what to do with that. You know, the thing is, if he hadn't used Confuse, like that Insanity move, if he hadn't used that on Katarina like he did, I probably would have beat him. Because, you see how everything is bubbly right now? I changed the elemental in the room, so he doesn't auto-refresh his life and regenerate his life. I want to I wanna try this again. I think I can do it. That triple edge is what I have to counter, though. Let's restart. Let's restart. I think I can do it. I said this last time, too. I couldn't do it. I don't know. We'll try again. But I have no way to counter insanity. I don't even know if there's an insanity ward you can get. Like, if I got that fighting him, that would be optimal, right? I don't have any bombs either. It'd probably help if I came prepared to fight this guy. Alright, let's try again.
Like I said, if we can't do it, we'll just go into the uh, water temple and grind in there. Perfect. Right off the bat. Melee attacks can't you can't attack with melee attacks, because if you use a melee attack, it counters, which you did before on Nora. But we can use spells, we can use ranged attacks, and he doesn't counter those. So we're just going to counter with the two people who are melee. Oh my god, he did it twice. Look at that. 4,000 damage. And he just killed somebody. I don't really give a shit about her, though, honestly. So I'm up to 6,000 damage. Right? Ish, 6,000. Like I said, if we think he has 10,000. Oh, fuck. She can heal, so that's a problem. Because she could heal him, and that would be bad. I don't have any. There's nothing I can do about it, though. Hopefully, she just doesn't AoE me and kill me. Also cures darkness, which is not the same. That's not what I have. Maybe she'll die. Yeah, all right. I've got to heal her up, though. Heat wave. All right, maybe I'll just get lucky. I think that's going to kill my group. Oh, fuck me. Alright. One more time. One more try. If I can't do it this time, I will go grind in the water cave. I will go grind. I, I'm so close. If he has 10,000 health, I'm like 2,000 off. I gotta, I gotta change something, though. I gotta give this chick a quality uh, balm here. Alright. Last try. Beating this guy is a big milestone. Once you beat this guy, the other three are hard, but I feel like he's the hardest. I really do. That did a shit ton of damage to my entire group. Right off the bat. So, like, half of this is luck. Half of his... Half his skill, I guess. Half's luck. I don't know how I'm supposed to block insanity. I just want one good attempt where 
I get in a couple of good counters. And I'm not having to worry so much about insanity killing my group. Because she's going to use Heat Wave. Yeah, there she goes. And just AoE everybody to death. She just killed my group. And she's... She's still fucking... Look, two blazes is it too much. That's too much. Alright. Return to title, yes. Alright, one last try, guys. I'm sorry. I have to try one more time. That was a terrible attempt. Dude literally, like, AoE'd me twice, and then it was over. It wasn't even a good try. It was just RNG badness. It is fate. It is. What the fuck? I didn't counter that? That should have countered. Dragon Tail is like the one move I counter, and it didn't counter. There we go. That countered. Maybe it's just triple edge I counter. Alright, that's 3,000 damage. Needs 7,000 more. Ish. As long as I know she's gonna die, it's like a calculable risk. Fuck, man, that's my whole goddamn party again. She doesn't have a cure. Yeah. Alright, I guess it's over. I guess that's it. to him yet. I think we do, we're just not. I wonder how much health he has. I'm gonna look that up in a second here. Because we were at like 7,000 health, so if he had like 8,000, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna Google it real quick, guys. Romancing Saga 3 Honest
<laughs> Guys, I... The first search that came up, I, this is not this is not a joke, this is serious, but I just noticed it. How much health do I need to have and how much does he have? And I asked on Steam for a discussion. Uh, it was my own post that I was just reading through. I didn't even know it was mine. I just did a Google search and it was the first one that came up. <laughs> So, clearly I've had this problem before, and I feel really bad about it. I mean, it doesn't even say. I just want to know how much total health he has. It doesn't even say. It just says he has less HP than the others. Nobody actually has a note on how much health this guy has. That's ridiculous. All right. Okay, I'm going to take a little break, use the, the little boys room, get some water, and we will come back and grind in the water fortress for a short time. So, uh, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back. So, um, you know, I think we're going to get to a point where we can do the, the Sinestral. I know I've died a couple times. Um, I just want you guys to know it's because I'm really bad at the game. It has nothing to do with, like, there's, the strategy I'm using is probably wrong. Everything I'm doing is probably wrong. And I'm sure, you know, not having the right items or something is part of it. I have no idea. Like, I wish there was just a guide to tell me exactly what actions take to beat this game. Because I am doing something absolutely incorrect. But we'll grind out. We'll get some more items from the Undersea Palace. Um, 
So each uh, Sinestral uh, Palace has equipment that makes your character immune to something. So like, in the Fire Fortress, we got immune to earthquakes, weak to aerial-based attacks. We got Shucho's armor. So there's stuff like that that you can pick up. Uh, like this one, immune to water-based attacks. Like, that'll be really good. Uh, that was originally Undyne's. We have another one, don't we? It's like a... I thought we had, like, a necklace that made me strong to water attacks. Maybe not. Well, let's just grind through this. And then, you know, when we get to the end of the uh, Undersea Palace, we're probably not going to be able to beat that Sinestral either. So we might have to backtrack again. These Sinestrals, these bosses are no joke, though. I do love the music for this, though. Oh, wow. Her bow skill is getting pretty good. Still has like zippy uh, skill points, but strength wise, she's getting pretty strong. Dodge the tentacle! Dodge it! Holy shit, that did a lot of damage, sir. Dodge it! Gotta learn some dodge moves, some wards. What I should really do is go get uh, Undyne a different kind of magic and level up another magic on her. She's going to be useless in this place. Maybe not useless, but I don't know. We want to change the uh, elements in the background, at least for the boss fight. You know, I installed Romancing Saga 2, because I was like, oh, well, you know, I. I'm playing this one on stream, and I'll just I'll play that one on on the back end behind the screen, uh, so that I can get good at it, and I can play that one on stream eventually. I still can't beat this thing, like I can't beat this off or on screen. 
will not be used as it is. All right, I don't know what to do with the meteorite shard. Good that we had it though. But since I can't beat this one uh, on or off stream, I feel like this is my priority. I have to beat this though, the, the the next two games on my list, so I'm gonna beat this, I'm gonna beat Okami. The next two games on my list after that are Final Fantasy VII Remake and Bloodborne. And I'm gonna play both of those on stream. So I have to get through Romancing Saga 3, I have to, I've gotta beat it so we can move on to those games. I know I can do it. I know I can beat this on stream. I know I can beat it in general. I know I can do it. Uh, let's go. Oh, shit, it all came to life. It's not good. Alright, uh, there's only one door. Yeah, we're gonna have to get Undyne a second magic. Kind of skipping through stuff. I want to get. I, I'm assuming there's treasure chest in here that we'll want or need. I don't know. This place is confusing. It shouldn't be that hard, right? That's easy. some rooms. Let's see if anything's in here. I think this takes me, I, I don't know. Everything looks exactly the same. I want to say this is taking me to the boss, and I don't want to go to the boss.
No, oh, no, treasure chest. All right, got him. Let's get all these chests, and then we'll start heading out. Fish scale, all right. Whoa, we have to lighten our load? All right, let's just, let's just equip some stuff. Fish scale. All right. So this basically makes all of my characters immune to. Uh... Oh, she did have a fish scale. Immune to water-based attacks. Genmu armor. And I have two fish scales. Alright, so basically all of my characters are now... Almost all of them are immune to uh, water attacks. Exactly what I needed. Alright, good. That also makes it so that in a water area like this, they get health back. So that's good. That's real good. backtrack now. We didn't get anything that would protect from uh, fire, though, did we? Hey, Ashness! Happy New Year, my friend. Did you have a good New Year's Eve? Stay in, stay healthy, that sort of thing? Or did you go out? same. I set off some fireworks for my kids in the neighborhood. It was a bit loud and bright. It was pretty cool, though. Nice. The kids had fun. It also rained all day yesterday, so it wasn't... There's no risk of fires or anything like that. I know, uh... <laughs> a lot of people, when I hear... You know, I say I set off fireworks, they, uh, they were concerned about that, because they live near, like, fire danger zones, you know, there's a war zone there with fireworks, yeah, 
That's how ours was. It was there were a lot of fireworks. Alright, let's go down here again. Alright, Mr. Fish, get out of the way. I hate to go too far in because I don't know where the boss is. And I'm trying not to go to the boss, so. But we'll go a little bit further. I don't want to miss any loot that might help, and we need the uh, level ups anyway. Yeah, it was good. It was real good. I'm, I'm exhausted though. I stayed up real late last night. And then um, on Netflix this morning, I. Uh, caught the uh, Cobra Kai season three that came out. I don't know if you watch that or if it's of any interest to anyone, but I uh, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah, it's um, the series is a sequel to the Karate Kid movies. It's uh, if you haven't seen those, it's not worth watching. But I grew up watching the Karate Kid movies and absolutely adored them. And the uh, the TV series is like a, a 30 year sequel. Like, this is the, the characters as adults. And they've all had kids and it's really a great take on like what a sequel should be. Um, and it's it's really well written, it's, it's got great jokes. Like it's, it's a nice series, but they just had season three released today. And there's all this controversy because they moved from YouTube TV over to Netflix. Um, so it's been hanging out, like, it's been ready to go for the last, like, six months. And they couldn't release it because of licensing. So it finally came out today. I'm, I'm really pumped about it. I'm trying not to spoil it because it just came out today, so I don't want to talk about it. Next week, I will be talking about it. It's It was awesome. It was just such a great series. Alright, I think we've gone as far as we can go without getting into boss territory. Fuck. Okay. Alright, so that's where the boss is. So, we're gonna leave and come back later. I'm gonna leave and come back later. I, um... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, go get some rest. Thanks for stopping in. Always good to talk to you. I'll see you on Sunday, I'm sure. Thanks, see ya. Yeah, this, uh, this game is awesome. I, I really enjoy it, but um, I'm not enjoying having to figure out where to go and what to grind at the moment. Um, I don't know a better way to do it. one of the more complicated ones I've played, though. You will love it. I think the, uh, the one thing about it that I'm, I'm struggling with, and this goes for my playthroughs off-stream, too, because I'm trying to figure out how to beat it off-stream. Um, the... Learning the abilities is completely random. And that randomness is actually very challenging because you don't always have the abilities you need.
I don't know, maybe there's a rhyme or a reason to it, a formula to it. I haven't figured out what that is yet, though. Back out. Shit. I did zero damage. I don't know, like, what, why are some moves doing zero damage to that thing and some aren't? I don't get it. Moves, maybe? Maybe that's what it is, just the mace. We're doing okay leveling the spells up and such. I just have to get a secondary spell with Undyne. I'm gonna have to get something else. tricky. You could definitely hit one of those things at the bottom if you didn't watch for them. Oh, I didn't even go to the right side there. Ah, I'm gonna go to the right side. I'm gonna regret this, but we're on the right. Oh, cool. Damn it. I just want to get out at this point, so I'm going to try to use everything I can to get out. I don't want to lose all of my MP on Undyne, but I've got to use a little bit to make these faster.
The way that doors are on the sides like that is kind of tricky, because you're not used to that in games like this. Well, I'm not used to it anyway. They don't hit for that much. Like, that's the thing, that's what's so frustrating about this, I think, is that the trash isn't really that difficult. It's not. But when you get to the bosses, and the bosses just, like, one-shot you with AoE, that's really frustrating. I know grinding out is the answer, and I know getting some of the tech techniques I don't have yet is the answer, but it doesn't change how frustrating it is. is generals. Oh, they're gonna... They're actually gonna be challenged. Oh, no, never mind. About 2,700 health. Fish. The uh, Matador, the counter move, is awesome. I love that. Oh, she's the only person who's not immune to water. That's why she keeps getting hit. Just 
I'm gonna walk into every single monster the whole way. Poison ticks for a lot, too. There we go. Fuck, that was close. Like I said, I'm not trying to fight every single thing on the way out, it just happens that way. There is a lot of trash in here, though. I think we're almost out, though. skills real quick too. Uh, she's at 24. She hasn't gotten a short sword skill up in a while. She's at 22. Same thing. Hasn't had one in a while. 23. Now her arrow is only 15 so I guess she can go up to about 22. She's just got magic. So I need to focus on getting Muse up and Katarina's magic up. I think those are the two things I'm kind of short on here. Oh shit, one of these? I actually thought this guy was kind of tough. Just to be an average mob, that's, that's a tough average mob. That wasn't too bad. Maybe it's just the one in that cave before that was a challenge?
Fuck, I don't, I don't know what to do with this to grind more. Like, we're just gonna... Like, I can't get my weapon skills higher for whatever reason. I can't... I mean, we can learn more magic and grind those, too. I could get different characters. Then we'd have to grind the characters. Like, other than getting HP and getting Muse up a little bit, I don't know what else I can do. Let's go, um... There's a couple spells I need to get, so I'm going to go get a couple spells with Muse. And then I'm going to learn some new spells with Undyne. Uh, I mean, hopefully this, this helps, because that's... That would see this would actually help with um, confusion. Cure any status ailment other than petrification. It's not what I was coming to get though. I was coming to get. Because I went to the inn, I don't have enough funds now. All right, so Shadow Servant's what I wanted to get. That allows her to attack twice, uh, so totally worth using. And honestly, what I should be getting is this spell with Katarina, the Parhelion. Create a Mirage to block enemy attacks, so that would be fucking useful too. I think. Uh, let's see if I... I don't know if I have enough money for that. Let's go... Back to Pedonia, I think it was. Why can't I ever figure out where to go? Yeah, Pedonia. Yeah, okay. So that was all the money I had in the, the bank, 7,000. So I don't have enough for the spell. But I might have enough for some gear, because I've got all those blacksmiths making stuff. Let's go see what they've made. Oh fuck, I meant to actually look at that stuff. thing that came to, to mind. Alright. Uh, going down. There's also a bank. Let's put some stuff away. Because we've got so much gear in our bags now. Oh. Strength and stamina. That would be useful, right? Never 
tree. Hmm, I don't know what the... At first, I don't know why I didn't equip the Lagoon robe on Undyne. Because that would mean I could equip Nora with the Ginbu armor. She should also have the Horn cap, though. So I think I can sell the Brigandy and the Leather Boots and the Boot OG. I don't know what the hell the meteor Meteorite Shards used for. I feel like I should figure that out. I feel like we've made pretty good progress, but it's still not enough. Is it? I mean, with Muse getting Shadow Servant, that should help a bit. Um, let's go. We gotta get magic on Undyne. So let's go one more place. Sorry, okay, what is that? Yeah, this is the wind one. I think the wind one would be fine for her, right? Because I can get tornado. Oh, if you learn this, you forget all Ginbu-based magic. No thank you. That's interesting. So I can get it on her. She can have this and Solar, but she can't have Soryu and Ginbu. So I guess you can choose Solar or Lunar. You can't have both. I guess one elemental and one, like, planetary? That, would, that makes sense. I wonder... This would be good about against the Earth guy, right? You know what? Fuck it. Let's just get that one. to level some spells on Katarina. Because with that, she now has Wind Dart and Sunshine. So we can play around with that. That means I want to get Undyne the... Um... I forgot what the name of it is. The, uh, not Lunar, but the Biako one? Can I get that one? Or does that count as... That would count as Earth, right? Maybe I can get her solar. Again, not that she really needs it, but... Biako... No, 
See, I don't want to forget Ginbu. So she can get Solar or she can get Lunar. And she doesn't need both. I just don't know the point of her having Lunar. I think Solar's the way to go. Let's go with that. Alright, that gives her something else to level to. So we've got Katarina has Soryu and Solar. Muse only has Lunar though, so let's give her the uh, Tremor one. Yako. I think Berserk would be good to have. And probably the Earth Heal, honestly. Alright, yeah, so that gives me Stone Bullet and Shadow Bolt. Both are single target, but both I can use to level. Gives her Sunshine and Squall. And then Katarina has Wind Art and Sunshine. So that's three different types of magic. So I'm missing Fire Magic. But that's okay. Alright, let's talk about secondary weapons on everybody now. Um, because I'm obviously capped as far as I can go on Short Sword for now. Same with her axe. So I gave her a saber. She was leveling before. I guess that's fine. We can do that again. And she got a bow. She's got a bow, but she's still not capped on that. Undyne gets nothing. I need some more bombs too. All right, let's get some of those. All right, cool. Now I'm broke again, but I've got some good stuff. Quality bomb. Quality bomb. Quality bomb. on to the silver sword for now. Alright. I feel like I'm in a good place finally with like gear and stuff. But I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do about that fucking fire boss. Um, I think grinding is the only answer. So I think for now we're gonna call it a night guys. I know it's a short stream tonight. Um I'm gonna go hang out with my wife, though. Let's see. Um, Killier, who was in here earlier, and I raid often, is playing a game that I watched the other night, Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven, Coven of Dusk. So let's raid him. This game looked pretty fun the other day. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't gotten too far in this game. I'm really struggling with it. I, we've gone through the Palace of Water. We've gone through the Palace of Fire. I just can't beat the bosses, so we're going to have to grind out 
skill ups, levels, spells, weapons, techniques, figure that out, I guess. Um, but I'll, I'll try to figure out this weekend how to do that, and then on Sunday we'll come back and play this. I know I was playing Okami with an RPG. I want to focus on this. I'm really struggling with it, and I want to beat it. So we'll get through this, we'll beat Okami, and then we'll move on to Final Fantasy VII Remake and Bloodborne. Uh, again, guys, thank you for hanging out. If you're following or, or hanging out for the first time and you haven't followed, hit the follow button. Um, check me out on Sunday at about 7 Eastern. We're going to raid Killier now. Everybody be nice to Killier. And I will see you guys again over the weekend. Have a good night. Two, one. See you guys.